Thomas. Police say someone hit the worker as he returned from his lunch break. Nearly a week later, police still looking for that suspect. News Channel Lines Hannah Lawrence tells us why police say it does not look like an accident. This here is the donation area where police say the suspect slammed down a bookcase. It broke, and that's when he took off this way through the parking lot, hitting the worker. As to whether it's somebody local or not, we just do not know. Surveillance video from the We Care thrift store in Dayton shows the suspect police say later hit Walter Hale last Tuesday. When he hit him, he did not attempt to stop in any way. At that point, he accelerates and leaves the scene. It's baffling that anybody could do this. Chief Chris Sneed says Hale was on life support until Saturday when he passed away. Ina Ring is the thrift store manager. She says Hale had been working here for six years. Everybody enjoyed his sense of humor. Um, uh, he was a, a hard worker. Co-workers held a bake sale and have set up this GoFundMe page to help pay for his funeral. It's been very, very difficult. Police believe the suspect was driving this white Ford Ranger. The crime was caught on camera, but police are not releasing that part of the video tonight. It doesn't look like it was an accident. Um, or he just didn't stop when he hit him. Ring says Hale's wife used to be employed here until her health prevented her from working. His daughter, though, still works at the thrift store. Police have sent the suspect's bookcase in for fingerprinting. They're also waiting for some enhanced photos from the TBI. Reporting in Ray County, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. Police say the suspect did not look intoxicated on the recording, but they cannot tell for sure. Both the Ray County Sheriff's Department and the Dayton Police Department are now offering a $1,000 reward for information that leads to